This video is brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed on YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook.
Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, I am, I went over my videos before on making uh, videos on working with audio and video and now I am going to the next level. I am starting to, I'm going to do introduction and ending videos with my other, uh, with, with uh, videos that are on my other uh, channels and uh, pages on Facebook and YouTube and with that I'm going to do things a little bit more di uh, different. It's not going to be as complicated before because I'm not going to have to show you how I make put my clips together and all that and using Wondershare because that's basically what I have to do on this channel. Um, I get a lot of clips and I get a lot of uh, different content from this channel believe it or not so I have to pull it all together and make one big video out of it um, but uh, on this one it's not going to be that much or that complicated so I'm setting up a, a introduction video right now and this one is going to be for the, my other channel called the Praetorian and I'll be going or first I'll be uh, working with my slideshow and here let me go ahead and actually do my capture on here which I should have already done I keep forgetting to do screen capture I apologize to you guys or display capture is what it is but wait, I might have already had it on there and I didn't Okay, so basically um, this is the slideshow. I've already got a video set up on it and this is basically what it looks like. Up here, for me, whenever I, to see when I start and stop videos, I've been uh, keeping it set up to where it goes back to the beginning instead of uh, continuous play. Now that is useful in a lot of ways, but it's not really in a lot more ways. Um, and um, right here, I usually put it on stop when not visible, restart when visible. Now right now, I have my slide mode on automatic, but you can also put it on uh, manual and use hotkeys to uh, control speed. And my transition is on fade but it has swipe and it has slide and I just leave my uh, time between slides in milliseconds and my transition speed in milliseconds on default which is 8,000 milliseconds for the time between slides and 750 for the transition speed in milliseconds um, with my uh, loop, loop is good when the video is done and you have it on media source but I don't do the loop because it just keeps the pictures going and they don't stop whenever you uh, whenever you back out of your slideshow and then hide when slideshow is done I have that check mark now here um, to get all of this off of there I'm gonna take it all off and I'm gonna show you guys how to put it on but um, to do that, I just go up there, click on that one, I hold down on control, and then I uh, left click. Well, that's good enough for that, just to show you guys. But And then I come over here to where this minus is, and I click on that, and it's, it should be going. But it, it, I guess I had more pictures on there than I thought. I did. So I come down here, hit uh, troll and then left click it, it all gets uh, highlighted come down here to the minus and they're all gone that's how you get rid of them. now if you want to put pictures on there you add files and automatically your pictures or your uh, where your pictures are were last at or here and you go it'll pop it up if you uh, aren't on the page that you want it to be on you have this option right here where you can go down 
two. I have mine on uh, Elements one or ten forty two, which is the D drive, and it's in videos and in the Praetorian. And these are all pictures that I have on here that I wanted on there. So I go ahead and I freaking hit Control and left click. And I open these back up, and there they are. Now, after I'm done, I hit OK, <clears throat> and I do that, and it's set, set up and ready to go. Now, that's what I'm talking about on there, where they'll keep moving. And the reason why they do that is beyond my understanding. I had it on loop and it was just, oh okay yeah. Now see when I go to back out of here it will start over. See? So say I back out again. It's supposed to back to start over. See that would have done it if I would have didn't say the world was perfect. I just said this is how I did it. So my other side so I figured that out. Just pause when not video or in unpause maybe. There you go. I believe. Nope. <clears throat> That's fine. Um but anyhow, I had it working pretty good earlier when I was doing it. The way I had it is always play when not visible, or stop when not visible, and restart when visible. And that's how I usually do it right there. <clears throat> that keeps it. And then I turn the loop off, and I hit OK. So, <clears throat> after <clears throat> that, I am going to uh, go ahead and make a video of that and how I do it is uh, I come back into my folders with working with videos my uh, music. Now I have my YouTube uh, music and I match it up to the presentation and I want to find out which one I would rather have. Now I've got this one. Nope, of course not. Uh, hey folks. I view that on a couple of other ones. Okay, take your pick. and I also uh, did it for this one too but this is where yeah, I guess it's going to start getting interesting I've got to go and I've got to match up the music that I want with that background so I'm going to go ahead and get on uh, go ahead and get on uh, Google Google Chrome and do that but while I'm doing that I can also uh, just go ahead and set up the video so while I'm doing it I am going to um, see that's my introduction right there I'm going to straighten all this up because what it is is I've got to have this one Hit OK. And then I do it again. Okay, so. 
so I ended up getting back on or on to Google and into YouTube. Um, now I wanted to show you guys how I got my free music. And the way I do it is I come down here to create and create automatically uh, automatically takes you to uh, audio library and give you an option of free music or sound effects. And right now I'm wanting free music. So I come through here and I give you uh, options you're generating. You want alternative punk, ambient, children's, cinematic, classical, country and folk, dance and electricity, or elect electronic, hip hop and rap, holiday, jazz and blues, pop, R&B and soul, reggae, rock, and all genres. Then you have mood, which is angry, bright, calm, dark, dramatic, funky, happy, inspirational, romantic, and soul. And then all moods. Instrumental is acoustic guitar, bass, drums, electric guitar, organ, piano, strings, synth, and trumpet. Then with duration, you have 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, 1 minute to 3, 1 minute and a half, or 1 minute to 1 minute and a half, and 1 minute and a half to 2 minutes, 2 minutes to 2 minutes and a half, 2 minutes and a half to 3, and all the way up to 5, and then all durations. Now, attribution not required, and attribution required is in the attributions and they have the whole license. Um, I don't know what attribution means, but I, I'll soon find out, I'm pretty sure. This is where I come to get my music and right now I'm trying to set up a background or an introductory video and an ending video for my channel and my page videos on Facebook that's like historical or politic, politic, political history and history, you know, politics, things like that. But um, I have to find um, music that can go along with it. So, Usually with things like that, I usually go to dramatic, inspirational, ro rom uh, not romantic, inspirational, you know, sad maybe sometimes. They even have some good angry ones, you know. I also use uh, alternative and punk. Um, actually, I'm starting to really like this electronic stuff. It sounds pretty good for an introduction. And uh, I never use pop or uh, r and b for stuff like that. Sometimes rock, I'll check them out. And cinematic. So I put it on there. And then I will use dramatic. Uh, instrument. It's acoustic guitar, bass, drums, electronic guitar or electric guitar, organ, piano, strings, synth, trump set, or trumpet. So I will use, um, let's see what synth is. And then I'm going to go to, to Hello, everybody. Acoustic. 
just a card base. minutes and four seconds. That's more around the time that I need. Oregon. Strings. Sent. Okay, so trumpet. Okay, so drums and black highway. So I've got these two. I can actually download both of them. I'll bring them here. Go to my videos. Down to work on the audio video. This is YouTube music. Save that one. And then the contract. Like that, I check through each of them. If they're downloaded. Um, I can check them out and add them to my video, or I can keep looking and add those to, you know, add more to it. So I'm going to end it here so you don't have to see me go through all this over again. And uh, we'll uh, come back to next step on what I'm doing. Stick around. Okay, so I finally got all my videos and everything that I wanted off of YouTube. And uh, this is basically the amount that I pulled off there. There's a few of them on there that I like, but it was like I was saying, I'm, not, I'm giving it a try. But I've had issues with copyright infringement by doing this. I don't know if I mentioned it on this video or one before, but I know I mentioned it in the, I'm going to try it out again to see if it works. Now, one thing that I have to say that you need to be careful about are the ones that want you to add a link to, to, the, uh, to your description to let them know that you are using their music you know, as a condition. Those are the ones that are real bad. They, They'll, they'll have it uh, Creative Commons common for a while, and they'll switch it to standard uh, copyright, YouTube copyright, and next thing you know, they're um, basically threatening to uh, give you a strike on your video, or you have to allow them to monetize up your video, which I think that's a low-down trick, so I don't really like that. I think that's crazy. But they do it. And uh, I've got them all down in my files. And I'll get off of here now and show you my files. Let's see if I'm on the right spot for that. So, leave it on OBS. And I will back out of the videos come to YouTube and here we go. 
So these are the new songs that I added to this, and now I want to match it up with the video that I can, or start our introduction video that I'm going to use. Make sure that I got this set right. That's working with audio. I need to be on uh, the Praetorian. And. Oh, wait. First, I have to create the slideshow. So, let me uh, get it all set up with that. And then we can. Start that out. Now I should probably go ahead and get in here and close this out like I showed earlier and start this over because I actually have an order that I want to do this in. First, I come down and I get the introduction uh, right there. Then I come down, or then I come in and I get. The other ones. Hit OK. And that is my slideshow. Now I can and I test these songs out. Now, the one that I really like, I think, uh, there are a couple of them that I really like. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can. song with that slideshow see if it looks good with fade or if it looks good with that up here and that's how you switch it or you can remove it all together or you can change the speed up of it to it's on basic the standard 6400 ms milliseconds i'm fine with that um, i just like my transition to where it's like this you know like uh, um, go ahead and do the slide show again and show you the slide. Kind of like this, you know, and watch the transition. It's pretty good. Nice and slow, and it just blends in. So I stick, I stick it at 6400.
more worse than that. I'll be back. Alright. <clears throat> I am back. Let me get a uh, display capture on here. <clears throat> I uh, picked the background song that I wanted for the Torian. And I wanted to let you guys see it and go from there. This is just a rough draft of it. I went ahead and added the song to it and then I put the video in my introductory video for YouTube. I do it that way I don't uh, make separate scenes for one uh, the channel or anything like that because um, I constantly have to go through and change it over again. But I got that I'm going to go ahead and play the video. This one is, is uh, the introductory video and I'll be using it also for the ending as well like I did in my previous videos. Okay, so at the end of that, I was thinking about it, and I probably should go ahead and just add an image, and I should have already had this set up on here. I don't know why that happened. And uh, I have it. Right here, I can just go ahead and put the image on, run it, and then slide it through in the back. Put that on there. Run the video again. And then right here, I just uh, right click on there, I come down to transform, and I hit 50 screen. That usually does the trick. So, um, 
Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna run this over again, and I will show you guys how to do that. So first, let me put the introduction to YouTube on here again, <laughs> and I will come back to display capture. I do have display capture. So, let me uh, switch it over and then I will show you the, the whole video and how I to put it all together on there. So, let's do this one more time. Quick transition. After doing this, this will be the background and be set up ready to go. And after I'm done there, then I will put a logo, Facebook, the YouTube logo, then the text of the text. And on here, it's going to have to go to the recording on both of them. I come in here to uh, text and change the name to the Victorian and just to 
show it so you guys see it. This is how I set my eye up. See, I put it to 15. That's my color settings. So that it kind of bleeds through, but it doesn't uh, get obnoxious with it. <clears throat> and my background, I hope to see, I don't even have a background. But I do have an outline. I set that to 11. And the LPC is at 15, like before, and that's my color settings. But I have never used chat, uh, chat log mode or text extensions, custom text extensions, nothing like that. But that's how I do that. And whenever that's what I'm going to do next. And after I'm done with that, I will do the audio that goes with it. And actually, I could do the ending as well. Um, I have my ending texts all down here. If I can get down my texts for my ending, which is right there. I don't do that with any. You can see through it. I, I just don't do it. Neither do I don't do it with the, the video title either. When I make my videos, those are the two things I want people to see. You know, to see me thanking, thanking them for watching, and I also want to tell them what the uh, video title is. I read it off to them because, like I said in my previous video, you know. I've got a brother who can't read, and I know there's other people out, out there who can't read either, and it's just the nice thing to do, you know. Right, so let me get off here, and I will be back kind of this way. For watching. If you like this video please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.